All right. My name is Rick Scott. I'm the biology lab technologist. You're in one of two biology labs and one of six science labs. So this part of the college and the main floor is the science wing where we students do uh, the, the experiments and learn doing all their labs and stuff like that. And I'm going to introduce you to the lab. And I forgot to introduce you to the lady at the back. That's Audrey Welch. She's also a technologist here at the college and helps set up labs as well. We work together a lot in doing these kinds of things. Now, as you know, science is about making observations, making predictions or hypotheses. And I'm going to show you just a little simple experiment to talk about the process of, of making hypotheses. So I need a volunteer. Who's willing to be a volunteer? Over here, OK? OK, here's your cup. Here's my cup. Two cups the same size, right? OK, grab your cup. Maybe stand, yeah, stand, yeah, stand, stand right there. OK, so that we can see it. Move this out of the way. All right, turn and face your guy. You, you, just, just turn sideways. Turn sideways, turn this way, turn sideways. Well, you have to be able to reach these. OK, that's good. And they also have to see your cup. All right, there, now we've got it. OK, these are packing peas, right? And the simple experiment or simple hy prediction I want you to make is everybody guess how many of these can go into the cup? 20? Anybody else? 10. 10? More than 10. 35? 45? 50? OK, keep your prediction and we'll see who's right. OK. Grab these and we'll count together, right? We'll go one, grab a handful because we have to do this quickly. You don't want to be, uh, okay. Just count, uh, you got one? Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Well, you gotta, you're counting, I'm sure, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I dropped one, I won't count that one. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. What are you at? 34. Okay. 35, oh, 33, 34, 35. Drop another one. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. What are you at? 49. 49, okay. I'm at 51, 52, 53. Seems there's something wrong with your cup. 54, 55. Something wrong with his cup. 56, 57. I'll just put a whole bunch in. That's 60. There's 70. So what's wrong with his cup? What did he do wrong? Well, you guys were watching. What's he doing wrong? He's trying to jam them in there. That's not going to work. So what did I say about science? No, no water, but you're on the right track. What did I say about science? It's all about observations and stuff, right? He never asked to see what was in my cup, right? I was, I got 100 in already, and I can just keep doing this. You know, they're not, they're, what, what's in there is an acetone. These are petroleum product that fully dissolves quickly in acetone, and mostly this is air, because these are packing peas. What do we want them to do for them? We want to be able to put them in boxes and not take up weight but protect things. If this works over here, I think it will. It'll show you quickly. I can get this focus right and get the light right. And we'll crank that up. And there's the surface. And if I drop that in there, you see, oops, it's moving. You can see it just instantly dissolves. It's kind of dark in there, but it instantly dissolves and disappears, right? So again, science is about making observations and predictions, but you have to pay attention to your variables. You have to make sure that you're both doing the same thing. Thank you for your help, by the way. Right? I didn't really give him a chance to look at my cup. But he didn't ask either, right? So next time, I'm sure he'd ask to see what was in my cup before we did that. All right? So he jammed them in there pretty good. I didn't have to jam any of them. All right? There we go. Good. Anyways, so the next part of, the, of, of this demonstration is to talk about microscopes and give you a chance to use the microscopes. Back in the boat. Roman times, the beginning of Roman times, people invented glass, and they discovered it do, did cool things. But it wasn't until about 1284 that this guy, Italian guy named Salvino de Marta, I can never say that because I'm not that from there, de Marta. He invented the first eyeglasses and made life simpler for guys like me and some of you out here too, I see, right? Maybe able to see. And then more people played with glasses and lenses. And along about 1590, this father and son in Holland made the first microscope to see things small, make small things bigger so you could see them. And then Galileo, who you're probably more familiar with from his uh, telescope, he... Um, played with microscopes as well and perfected them and got a two-lens microscope that allowed us to see even smaller things. And then a fellow in England, Robert Hooke, 
was the first person to coin the term cell. Over here is a, a model of a plant cell and an animal cell. Before that, people just didn't know that we were made of the cells or things were made of the cells. Microscopes allowed us to do that. So science tools, people who have open minds, willing to investigate, ask questions, do observations, play with things, write down notes, make things improved. They ended up getting microscopes. And then along Anthony Luhok, a, a Dutch fellow, was the first person to see bacteria. Before that, we didn't even know a bacteria existed. We didn't know a lot of the small things that swim in our lakes and waters existed. We handled it before, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you're comfortable with that. There's some other things besides your, your, your penny on the side of the bench. One is um, a tray full of mealworms. Okay, looks like these. So they're crawling around there. Mealworms are actually beetle larvae. Okay, there are different sizes of the mealworms. If you look carefully at the front end, you'll see that they have uh, uh, three pairs of legs or six legs, just like insects do. If you look, you'll see this white thing that's there. That's the pupa, just like butterflies go through metamorphosis. But these guys don't have cocoons. So that thing will become a beetle. And in, in my dish, but not in yours, are the adult beetles up here. Oops. I, spatial problems looking up there and looking sideways. There's the adult beetle. So they go through it. So you can have a look at that. There's also some slides of uh, different insects, parts, and stuff like that.